Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you the most important tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy M10s. I'll also be making a dedicated video for the best features where I'll be showing you all the features offered by this phone. So definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. Now with that said, first I want to start off with disabling this lock screen stories. Now every time you're on the lock screen, you see a different wallpaper. Here's a quick preview. As you can see, wallpapers have been changing constantly. So if you hate that and you want to disable that, this is what you need to do. First go to settings, then select lock screen settings. Once you're here, select lock screen stories. Now just disable this toggle. Once you do that, you get a fixed lock screen wallpaper. Here's a quick preview. As you can see, lock screen wallpaper now sticks. Next I'm going to show you how to enable dark mode or night mode on this phone. Almost all the brands call it dark mode or dark theme while Samsung calls it the night mode. You can enable it from display settings and you have a toggle over here for night mode. Once you enable it, all the UI elements change in color. Your phone will look much more cooler now and it also helps you save some battery. Besides that, if you're someone who uses your phone late at night, then it'll put less strain on your eyes as well. Next, I'm going to show you how to take screenshots on this phone. So to take a screenshot, just press the volume down and power button both at the same time and your phone will take a screenshot. Now, let me do that once again. Here's the volume down button and power button. Just press both at the same time and your phone will take a screenshot. Now, for some reason, if that's a bit hard for you, you also have the palm to swipe gesture where you can swipe with your palm to take a screenshot. Now, for some reason, if that gesture is not working for you, just go to settings, then select advanced features. Now select motions and gesture and make sure this particular toggle is enabled. Palm swipe to capture. Now, here's a quick preview. By the way, I forgot to mention earlier, you can also enable and disable night mode from the toggles. You have a dedicated toggle called night mode. Just click it to turn it on or turn it off. Now I'm going to show you how to turn on the fingerprint scanner gesture. So to enable that, go to settings. Once again, select advanced features, then select motions and gestures and enable finger sensor gesture. Once you do that, you can swipe down on the fingerprint scanner to pull down the notification bar. You can do a swipe up gesture to send it back again. Here's a closer look, swipe down and swipe up. So guys, that was the fingerprint scanner gesture. Now I'm going to show you how to make apps go full screen. By default, all the applications go full screen by themselves. You don't need to do anything, but there are still applications, especially games, which don't go full screen by default. This is Chameleon Run and as you can see, there are two black bars on either side. And to disable them, this is what you need to do. First go to settings, then select display settings. Once you're in display settings, select full screen apps. Now select the application that you want to make full screen. In our case, it's Chameleon Run. Then select full screen. Once you do that, that application will be killed in the background. And next time you open it, it opens up in the full screen mode. And here's the full screen mode. Now in the same page, that's full screen apps, you also get the option to hide the notch. So just click this button, select advanced settings. And once you enable this toggle, not as hidden. Status bar goes down and two bars are placed on either side of the camera. And now the notch itself doesn't stick out too much. This is the home screen and this is another application. And as you can see, notch is still pretty well hidden. So that's how you can hide the notch. Now I'm going to show you some important camera related features. So this is a camera interface and you can swipe left or right to switch between all these modes. And you can also do a swipe up gesture or swipe down gesture to switch between the front and rear cameras. So that's a pretty cool gesture. Now this is a shutter button and obviously you can click it to take a picture. But if you swipe over it, you get a floating button. Now this is the secondary shutter button and you can place it anywhere you want and then click it to take a picture. Now this is super useful for taking selfies. Once you're done using this floating button, you can bring it back to the original shutter button to hide it. Now besides that, we have other shooting methods as well. So to enable them, go to settings. Then select shooting methods. First we have tap screen. Once you enable this feature, you can just tap the screen to take a selfie. Once again, it's super useful for taking selfies. Next we have the palm gesture. So to enable it, go to settings and select shooting methods. Now we have show palm to take a selfie. Once it is enabled, you can just show your palm to the front camera and here you can see the timer and your phone takes a selfie. Here's a quick preview once again. And here's the timer. And now it took a selfie. So that's the palm gesture. Besides that, you can also press the volume buttons to take a picture. Here's a preview. I can press volume up or volume down to take a picture. 
Now I'm going to show you some home screen related shortcuts. Now on your home screen, you can do a swipe up or a swipe down gesture to open the app drawer. But let me just change the setting. For that, do a pin gesture, then go to settings. Then enable this toggle, swipe down for notification panel. Once you do that, you can do a swipe down gesture to go to the notification area and do a swipe up gesture to open the app drawer. Now that's super useful. Now for some more gestures, whenever you do a swipe down gesture with just a single finger near the top of the screen, you go to the notification area. But if you do the same with two fingers, like that, you directly go to the notification toggles. Now these are your notification toggles and you can rearrange them as well. So to rearrange them, click this button, select button order. Now you can long press on any of these toggles, move it to the desired location and leave it to stick it there. Click done to save it. Now this is the new order. Next we also have something called quick settings. Now these are all your toggles and whenever you click on the name of the toggle, you get some extra options. For Wi-Fi, you get Wi-Fi access points. For Bluetooth, you get different Bluetooth devices. For sound, you get different sound profiles and so on. Now these quick settings gives us some new options as well. For example, I'm just going to turn on the torch and this is how it looks like. But if you go to quick settings, we also have the option to change the brightness of the torch. So here's a quick preview. I'm going to change the brightness. So this is pretty much a unique feature on Samsung phones. Now this is the brightness slider and by default it only shows up in this page. But if you click this button and enable this toggle, show content on top, you can also find the brightness slider in the notification page. This is one other thing I would definitely recommend you to do. Now I'm going to show you how to record calls automatically on your phone. For that open the phone dialer, then click this button over here, then select settings and now select record calls. Now once you enable this toggle, you can record calls automatically on your phone. Now this feature is available in India but might not be available in other countries. So if you can't find this feature, try using any third party application. Next I'm going to show you how to change your default browser, default launcher and so on. For that go to settings, then scroll a bit and then select apps. Now click this button over here, then select default apps. Now from this page you can change your default browser, phone dialer, SMS application and even your home launcher. Personally I would suggest you to change your browser to Google Chrome. This is the default One UI launcher and if you want to switch to something like Nova launcher, you can do it from here. Just select home screen and select the secondary launcher. Now I'm going to show you how to display the battery percentage on the status bar. For that go to settings. Once you're in settings, select notifications. Then select status bar. And now just enable this toggle. Once you do that, you can see the battery percentage on the status bar. Next I'm going to show you how to hide applications in the default launcher. So this is the One UI launcher or the Samsung launcher. And if you want to hide any of these applications, this is what you can do. Click this button, then select home screen settings. Now we have an option called hide apps at the bottom. Now select the applications that you want to hide and click apply. Once you do that, those applications will be hidden in the app drawer. Now even though those applications are hidden, you can still access them from other sources like app drawer, Google Play Store. And even if you install a third party launcher, you can still access those applications. So there's no way to hide applications, especially without rooting the phone. But if you still want additional protection, you can always lock those applications. Now for the final tip, if you're ever running low on battery, let's say you have just 5 or 10% of battery left and you don't want your phone to switch off, you can enable the maximum power saving mode. To enable it, go to the toggles, now click on power mode and then select maximum power saving and click apply. Once you do that, your phone will kill all the applications running in the background and it'll give you access to only 8 applications. 4 are fixed and you can select other 4 applications from your app drawer. Even in this mode, we can still use Wi-Fi and mobile data. Now as you can see, phone currently has just 29% of battery left and expected standby time is 2 days 6 hours. So this mode can drastically improve your standby time. Once you're done, you can just turn it off by clicking this button. So guys, these are the most important tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy M10s. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video and if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description, it always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.